What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube account. Today we're going to talk about the Deportivo and versus Real Madrid uh, post-match. Sorry guys, I couldn't do it. The post-match on Monday because we I have school, so I'm gonna do it today. But I'm not, not only that, I'm also going to do the Real Madrid versus Valencia ma a match preview because the match will be tomorrow at 4.15 in the afternoon at Time Orlando in Florida. And first, we're going to go straight away. We're going to talk about the Deportivo's Real Madrid match. I think the first 10 minutes Deportivo, like, played so well. They had the ball, especially Andoni. He was, like, a great player. I mean, he was... He's, it's, it, each time he had the ball, he was dangerous. He, he, like, he had... If I'm not, like, mistaken, he had three opportunities to score. One was, like, a shoot... No, two were two were like shoot to Keller Navas goalkeeper, to Keller Nava, and the third one was a penalty shootout. He missed, and Keller Navas saved it again. Keller Navas is the best goalkeeper ever, and I think Real Madrid dominated the the rest of the game. I think from that from the time that Real Madrid scored the first goal, the the Portillo started to get weak, 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 so weak that we they can even like make it to the. Mid midfield of the uh, of the game, so I think Real Madrid did a well job. Especially, I think the best man of my match was Keller Navas because he saved three goals, three uh, difficult goals. I mean, for me, in my opinion, and I think that's my opinion for that game. Now let's go to the preview of Real Madrid's Valencia. As you know, I just tell me a few minutes ago, the Real Madrid won uh, their first La Liga match in Valencia, if I'm not mistaken. 1-0 one, one against Las Palmas. They're, they're, they're Valencia, they're a hard team because it uh, doesn't matter that if in their, in their home, Mestalla, or in their Bernabeu, they will like be always a competitive team, especially this season, because last season they were like, not not the best team, not the best version of Valencia, but I think this year we will have like a hard, even harder match because Valencia came comes from winning one zero in the first match and they get and they get they give themselves confidence so they could go to the Bernabeu and beat Real Madrid. But if you have players like Modric, Modric, Isco, Cross, Navas, Benzema, Bale, and Asensio, obviously. You can never uh, like compete as as uh as them, so they they might like have a chance and score a goal. And um and well, guys, uh, that's it. That's my opinion for this match. Um, who you think is gonna win between the Real Madrid and Valencia? Comment down below. Um, thank you for. Uh, for seeing this video if you if you haven't seen this video please see this see this video subscribe to my account leave a like button guys please i dare you i swear you let's get the to at least 10 likes and be please guys let's do this for me do this for my because i will always be there i don't care if it's rainy i don't care if i'm 80 years old i will always make youtube videos okay because i love you you're the best and see you later guys